Okay, everybody, welcome to this video. Time for another exciting video with Eric and VBAHowTo.com. Today's video, we're going to talk about how to move files with VBA. So, picture this you have a file that you've outputted to a report and you have it at one location and it's done and we need to say okay it's been emailed out or it's been sent to this location let's move it to another directory now well this video is what it's all about so we have a uh, without a oh with any further ado i'm going to get right into it you can also download the database and the code at vbahowto.com all right so for is so let's go to our database here and we have this little uh, little dialog box here that says uh, says move file okay and we have a little report that I've made here called RPT addresses and it's just a basic report that's in here it's coming off the the customers table in the uh, database and this could really simulate any report uh, you, you probably have some specific reports to your database, no doubt. And mine's just a simple one. And then I uh, create from tables on form. So I have three tables in here. Again, you can download this database at vbaaltitude.com. Uh, go ahead and click the click the button, move file. What happens is it outputs the report, uh, report addresses and outputs this report to a PDF file which is actually which is more universal uh, anybody can read that and because they can download the free PDF viewer or uh, any PDF reader will do will read a PDF okay not necessary if you don't have Microsoft don't worry about it uh, you're gonna you have it anyway because you have access but uh, RPT addresses just a regular PDF file. So I'll be click OK. It's already been moved. Okay, the operation is done that fast. That fast. Um, where so where is it? Well, let's go ahead and look real quick. And it used to be in this directory. Now it's here in the complete area. Okay, it's RPT addresses right here. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. We'll see what's inside of it. Uh, hopefully it open up. Oh, here it is, right down here. It's in my st status bar. Oh well. Okay, folks, I had to knock it into shape a little bit. All right, address list. Okay, so it is a file. Let me go ahead and delete it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it because I don't need it anymore. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is look at the code here, okay? Uh, whenever I, I'm going to put a breakpoint there just so we can analyze the code. When I click the button move file, what happens is that I click the button called btn create table. Actually it's move file, so don't let the good name fool you. Uh, btn <laughs> move file, this is... Uh, Okay, I'm not going to do any further than that, but uh, so I'm dimensioning, I'm telling it to use this address, the uh, telling that variable to use that report. I'm outputting the report to a to this. I'm outputting the to, what a report to that file name uh, as a PDF, and where am I outputting to the current project path? Okay, uh, it's wherever this project is located wherever this project currently is located and that just happens to be uh, not here but it happens to be at the location so maybe at some oddball location that you stick all your files in uh, document setting blah, blah, blah. this long path right here it's really referencing this and it sure does be trying to figure out what path you're under and then I have my my name of my report uh, and then dot PDF Okay, so that's what I'm outputting to. So let's go ahead and uh, remove my very point here. It outputs, it bang. Now it's outputted. Let's go ahead and look at where it's outputted. Right here. Okay, now it's here. It's in the folder 
and I want to move it to complete right now it's blank okay so right now it's his intermediate step right in my directory here now what am I going to do I'm going to use this um, scripting library here the object FSO I'm going to dimension as object and here I'm using late binding and that probably would be better that would be better on a website in access you can reference the library it's a scripting library uh, scrum DLL it's a file system object to reference it you got the tools and references and I can't show you right now because I'm in break mode uh, but I will show that in a moment here but when the video ends okay from file current project path then my file name to I'm uh, moving it to here from and a to 